Welcome, everybody, to an exclusive episode of The Sheriff. Guys, do I ever have a treat for you right now? Now, this is going to be a different type of episode. We are live at the Steve Ludzik Foundation Cherry Golf Tournament, guys. This is the 8th Annual Tournament, and we are here. We're excited. The guys are just coming off the links. We're going to get a couple of really, really popular NHL stars coming and giving their opinions of who is the worst golfer in their group, how long they've known Steve Ludzik, and how fun they're exactly having today. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I have Mr. Kerry Goulet with me right now that has joined the episode. Thank you, Gooch. How are you, Thank buddy? you, buddy. How are you feeling today, man? fantastic. Anytime I can be on a mic with you, that makes it all worthwhile. But more importantly, what a great event. Obviously, we're at the Steve Ludzik Foundation Golf Tournament and the Niagara National Golf Course. We got Dennis Marouk. We got, uh, obviously, Pat Graham. There's so many cool guys. Unbelievable. Yeah. Lou Francis Getty, for God's sakes, not wearing socks as usual. <laughs> what a great day. How are you doing? I'm doing good, buddy. I'm excited to be here. I was lucky enough to come here last year, but, you know, this year, being able to do the show here live from the event, I've been a Steve Ludzik fan for so long. And I just love being a part of the group. Well, you know what's great about there are similarities between Steve Ludzik and myself. Yes. Number 29. Yeah. Yeah. And how good looking you guys are. Well, he's a pretty good looking dude. And as I want to say on a very serious note, what Steve and Maureen and, and Dan have all done here, what's really important is the fact that uh, my I just lost my sister-in-law to uh, a very rare Parkinson's. So this is a very important touch of home. I'm so sorry my wife, that. yeah, just uh, happened a couple of weeks ago. We lost her. We just actually buried her a couple of uh, days ago. So Steve Ledzik and your group, what you're doing is absolutely, truly amazing. And I'm right here with the sheriff at Niagara National Golf Course. Hey, listen, one of the things that's really cool is that we've been doing this a lot. We do it at the bottom line. We do a lot of things together. But Danny Granger has outdone himself if you get a chance to see the Steve Ludzik uh, photo that he made. Well, I'll tell you what. I made a deal with Danny Granger for him not to go anywhere because we want to bring him on here. We want to get his opinion on everything that he yeah. thinks is going on here. Plus, yeah. we have to show this portrait, if you'll allow All right. He will do that. You know what? I see Adam Bennett there, of course. Marine is also here. I know you're going to grab yes. Marine in a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for supporting not only Gooch Live, but the Sheriff Podcast. And, of course, the bottom line, Steve Lentic Foundation, you do an amazing work. Thank you for all you do from the bottom of my heart, my wife's heart, of course, and the entire family as we say goodbye to Linda Davies. She was a beautiful, beautiful human being. We lost her to Parkinson's, as I mentioned before. So you guys are doing amazing work. See you, buddy. Thank you, Gooch. Woo! Awesome. Woo! Woo! All right, so now we're going to bring a very, very important person. Miss Maureen, can you please join me? Now, I'll tell you, Maureen has been an organizer of this from the get-go. She's put in a lot of hard work, and we're just going to talk a little bit about, about some things. So, Maureen, yes. now... The Steve Ludzik Charity. Yes. All funds today yep. are going to support the Steve Ludzik Parkinson's Foundation. Foundation. That's correct. So now I want to talk about kind of the day so far. Like Absolutely. this is behind the scenes a little bit. You know, right? well, first of all, Sean, thank you so much for being here and for Carrie to do this. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, this is, as you mentioned earlier, it's our eighth annual Ludzik Golf Classic. And every year, you know, you think you can't pull it off and make it better than last year's, but lo and behold, you do somehow. Um, we had 152 golfers. We yes. had just over 40 celebrities, so past and former NHL players, AHL, uh, yeah, all you guys that come out. And they give their time generously to this day. And it's, again, it's another amazing way for us to really bring awareness to Parkinson's in our community. You meant, I just heard you. Uh, both say that you, you knew someone that passed away from Parkinson's and so we don't like to hear those kind of things you know obviously but I can tell you as a person that also lives with Parkinson's that um, what we're doing here is is amazing and you know we can't do it without without everybody that comes here today the sponsors that come out every year oh, yes. we can count on you know the, the corporate side, the, the the local community people, you know, giving free lunches away, and the each hole had sponsors this year. It was pretty amazing. Now, uh, I, I actually wouldn't mind talking a little bit about, yes. about these sponsors. Like, yes. I know there was some major, major ones. Yes. Now, Toro Aluminum. Yes. Rex Roth, which is a box, which is a box, a Bosch company. Yes. Graham Financial and Niagara Motors. Absolutely. Now these guys were the big, big heavy hitters they this were, year, right? Bosch was our number one at thirty-five hundred dollars. I mean, they're our major sponsor this year, and Toro was second. And you know, again, 
these are uh, family, they become like family to us because we just have to ask them they're there. Um, and the connection that we've made over the years, and sometimes, you know what, Sean, a lot of the connections are that people in their own families have Parkinson's, and you yes. never know who you're talking to, right? So we found that some of our connections have been just simply, you know, they know somebody, they had a grandparent, they've had something. So yes, we can't do it without these big five and then all the little guys that bought whole sponsors and, you know, on our wall of fame. And it all adds up at the end of the day, and we can't do it without them. So, Absolutely. And now, I was talking to Dan Lancioni yes. a little while ago, and you were saying some of the smaller sponsors. Yes. Now, come back. Come back, Snacks. Miss Emily O'Brien. Yes. Apparently, there's quite the story oh, behind that. I and heard. I'm hoping that I get Emily over here to oh, talk okay. a little I bit about heard that. that story. Oh, wait, <laughs> you'll hear it from Dan. I want to get it straight from the source, okay. just so I don't think the listeners think yeah. this is any hearsay. Yeah, exactly. So, but, but the point of this is there's such great stories there are. that are part of this. And the sponsorship, I mean, I saw the brochure, Maureen. Yeah. And man, has it ever grown from the first it year? It really has. You and know, when you look incredible. back at eight... Uh, you know, eight years doing this, you don't want to keep turning to your same sponsors all the time because you can't keep asking. And particularly in a time where we're coming off COVID and everyone is, every nonprofit has struggled and everybody's asking for money. So it's really difficult. But we, I tell you, and it's Steve Ludzik himself. He is the draw. He is the man. Um, we all love him to death. He's had, you know, he has, lives with Parkinson's. He's had his liver replacement in the last, you know, transplant in the last couple of years. So he's really that's what the guys come for, you know? Okay. And the one thing I do want to mention is that, yeah, in eight years that we've been, our doors opened to the clinic in 2013, we raised a million dollars. Yes. And that's all kind of blood, sweat, and tears kind of kind of stuff, because that's not somebody handing us a check for a million dollars. That's every year doing roasts and golf, work, you know, and different things we've had to do through the years. So One million dollars. Isn't, I, isn't that incredible? You know, when we hit it, I, I in fact, I got goosebumps when yeah. I say it, but... I remember look, waiting and waiting and waiting. We were so close and so close. And when you hit that million dollars, you're just ecstatic. And it's it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, for sure. I'm so happy to talk about, like, all the positive things that comes out of this. And, you know, you mentioned before why some of the guys are here. Yeah. And I'm a part of that group. Yeah, I'm absolutely. a big Steve Ludzik fan. Yeah. But, but I just want to tell you a couple of reasons why. Okay. Now, Steve Ludzik is known to be the sharpest dresser in hockey. I, I don't know if you... Oh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I've noticed. Heard yes. Stories. Yes, I've so seen. now I've played with guys that played with them when, when he was coaching teams like the Detroit Vipers. Yes. Okay. And what they said to me was what they what get what would get them motivated would be the two tone shoes yeah. that this man was walking around with yeah. in the pregame speech. So they're nervous. They just got they're called up. The <laughs> yeah, they just got called up. They're nervous. They're hoping they have a great game, and you know they're sitting there and they're like, "Wait a second, my coach has the coolest shoes in the yeah. world." And and that would motivate them to get fired up. You know, part of, uh, I think, uh, initially, when you think of, like, a Don Cherry, who said, his, you know, his dress was his dress, uh, Ludzi's kind of, like, right up there with him. And that was always, I think, his, you know, he admired Cherry for that. And so I think that you'll find Steve right in there. And today, even though he's not been feeling well, he still looks pretty sharp when he gets dressed up and goes out. So, And, and I'll tell yeah. you one thing. Steve Ludzig at 50% is looking yes. better than, than a lot of Absolutely. us. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I know he's doing well. Well, Maureen, I'm, I'm going to be bothering you a little bit later. I can Absolutely. see all these all these celebrity friends of Steve that want to give their two yes. cents. Yeah. So I, I really appreciate you coming on. Sean, we really, and I appreciate the time and I appreciate both what you and, and Gage do for this. This yes. is really amazing. Thank you so much. So. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. Guys, like, this is this is an incredible thing because one of the things that I get to do by being part of an event like this, I get to meet incredible people like Maureen. Like it's it's not only the thought that they have, but the good intentions, but it's also the plan for the future, the networking, the embracing the positive and for the better good. And speaking of that, but I'm also a big fan of Mr. Palmateer, one of the most famous Toronto Maple Leaf goalies of all time. He's standing just just moving terribly away from me so we're gonna see if we can get him in i want him to, to give a little opinion on how we, how long he's known steve Ludzig and the passion that he also has for this type of thing mr Walter, a couple a couple of things on behalf of steve Ludzig. awesome thank you school over here sir so now don't mind me i'm i'm a little bit nervous because sir as a 
lifelong Toronto Maple Leaf fan. This is some royalty right here. You are too young. What are you talking about? No, but about? I'm, I'm a history buff, though. Okay. So, trust me, I've seen game tapes from when yeah. it was just black and white. I'm a big student of the game, Mr. Palmateer. Yeah. And I really appreciate everything that you've done, not only for the city of Toronto, but for the game of hockey. Okay, uh, and well, what's happening now with your goalie schools and everything, and the movement that you have with the goalies? It's hang incredible. On. You got you might want to you got the wrong guy there because I haven't done any goalie schools in quite a while. Uh, but as far as coming out doing golf tournaments, and especially this one, this is number one that most of the guys. You'll see how many guys that come out. Yes. Yeah, we really respect uh, Lindsay. Of and course. what he's done and what he's doing and and how he battles and that as a as a hockey player we always picture ourselves as battlers and, and guys that just keep on pushing and keep on going through pain and injury just to survive and and he does that plus he's helping people yes you know and and that's that's why he's got such a great turnout. I'll tell you that right now. Well, just like Maureen was mentioning before, I mean, we had a full well, a full set of players. Like, it was 152 golfers that actually came out today. Usually, it's 144. Yeah, that would, we even went higher. Yes, yes. of course. Yeah. Now, now, correct my ignorance. It wasn't hockey school that I meant. It's the hockey, the, the, the goalie school, the goalie movement oh. that you're being a part of. Yeah. But the stuff that we were talking about last year, which yeah. is the special stuff that you have with the goaltenders, I think that that's incredible goalies were always my favorite teammates because you guys see the game a little bit different yeah you yeah. guys take it in but we have to attack yeah. it you guys take it in exactly well actually i attacked it more than most goalies you, of but, course uh, you did especially playing uh, the puck but but yeah but you know it's it's reading the play and the one thing that hasn't changed too much even from my era to now is even though the guys are more bigger stronger better equipment physically they practice 12 months a year instead of eight like we yeah. did uh there still is the hockey sense the goalie sense that as a scout i'm a scout for 16 years and, yes. and even though they're playing differently i st still see how they read the plays you know and yeah. that's the difference between the best because they're all now physically pretty damn good yes but up here is where the, that confidence and, and the reads is where the best goalies are. So now, Mr. Palmetter, I, I really want to get your opinion on, on one topic here. Now, you're a Toronto Maple Leaf guy. I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf guy. Okay. We had Mr. Campbell in net this year. Yes. Now, it seems like, as an organization, we weren't that happy with him. Because Edmonton picked him up, and we made a move before that to pick up Mr. Murray. So now, do you think that this goalie situation now is going to sort itself out? Because I think that they just needed a change, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't followed it closely yeah. enough. Oh, yeah. But both those kids I know, I scouted them in junior, and, and I have a rough idea of what their careers are. And, and they're both their winners. I love Campbell's compete. Now he's he's town. town. Of all the guys in the NHL, he might be a, the, one of the more aggressive guys. Yes. That he needs to just tone it down a little bit. Okay. And pick his spots. Uh, so, but I hear he's a great guy in the dressing room and everything else. And, and Murray is a hell of a goaltender. And he is. I guess uh, because he played in the Sioux when our new Leaf GM was probably there. That had something to do with it, too. I did hear that backstory. Yeah. Much. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. As soon as I heard it, that yes. explains things. Yes. But who knows if they've got things settled yet. That's right. You know, it all comes down to making a big save at the right time in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, and having some consistency, having the guys in the dressing room, having your back, believing in you. Mm -hmm. yes. So they can cheat. <laughs> exactly. You know, so they can make a few chances. And think they would cover. And trusting is probably the biggest thing, right? Yeah. Now, yeah, it is. now I just wanted to ask you, like, like, before you take off now, after the golf, what is it that excites you the most about events like this? Like, is it the camaraderie of the guys coming together? Is it the amazing food? Is it the weather? What is it for you? Well, you know, the weather is fantastic. Is it? But no one goes to a golf tournament for the weather. Yes. And frankly, for food, who cares? It is about... Uh, number one, what what we're trying to achieve here. Yes. 
and uh, but number two, it is it, it really is the you know I had a great day with the four guys I played with. You know, we're you know telling stories and and, and just having fun, and I and we're teammates yeah. trying to make a birdie on every hole. Yeah. You know, and then you know, ripping us each other apart when we all miss our butts. And yes. This thing, oh yeah. But that's really a big part of I think why most people come out here. Yeah. Not only I mean they're sports fans and, and they want to help out the cause, but they they got a competitive nature in them a little bit for the most part. At least the guys I play with did. And does it make you miss it a little bit, like just being oh, around these guys? Like absolutely, it yeah. Does. It does that for absolutely me as well? Absolutely, it does. Yeah. I, I, you know, don't do it enough. I got my group of guys that I play golf with now on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But now that I'm beat up and crippled, we're just having fun and playing. Exactly. exactly. But I miss those days when I'm playing for a few hundred dollars. <laughs> You oh, yeah. know, around oh, and yeah. competing like we did but we played yeah. in real hockey. The competition. You know. Yeah. That's it. Well, Mr. Palmateer, I really appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, I'd love to get the different opinions oh. of all the different guys that are part yeah. of this. Yeah. And, I, you know, Steve Ledzig, I mean, we're, we're doing this for him. We're doing this for the foundation. And I'm just happy that we're all a part of it. I wanted to thank you for coming yeah. on and, okay. and commenting. So thank I hope you, you enjoy much. your dinner. Hey, Amen. Enjoy your ex-teammates and friends. And we'll have a good one and tonight. And that's the big part of it, Exactly. Too. I actually get to see all teammates and old enemies. Yeah. Arch rivals yeah. and the best of friends. I'm just all in one uh, thing. Well, yeah. I just right. wish I had my goalie stick for a couple of those guys. Still. <laughs> right? What the heck? There you okay, go. Man, Thank you, sir. It. I appreciate it. Wow. So, hockey royalty. And to, to continue on that trend, now we have a guy that has been around the game for a long time. And now we have kind of like a younger generation here. So we have actually Doug Gilmore's son-in-law, Mr. Evan McGrath, coming by. Say a couple words here. I appreciate it, buddy. So now this is a different type of show. We're, we're, we're cutting in and out. We're bringing guys in. We're getting everyone's opinion. Now, you yourself, sir, obviously you know this family extremely well. Of course. Okay? You're a huge supporter. Yep. How was your game today, buddy? It was a lot of fun. So it was a beautiful day. Yep. Uh, we shot okay, I think. Yeah. But we had Did anybody time. stink in your group? No, 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 no we all you guys were all We all had a great time. Everybody was competitive. It okay. Was, uh, it was a, a great 18 holes. Right on. Yeah, yeah. So now, when you say mediocre, is that coming from a guy that has like a really good handicap? Or 100% is that not. Sean. Okay. No, right I, I'm an okay golfer. Nothing, <laughs> nothing special. They use, if we're using 25, 30% of my shots, I'm happy. Right on. So now I, I, I wanted to get into kind of the more the more important part of it. I mean, this is the eighth annual tournament. Um, Steve has got to be very happy with the turnout. Okay, over the eight years, yeah. they could actually say that a million dollars has been raised. Yeah. How proud are you to be a part of something like this, like a movement for the better good? To be technical, the Steve Ludzig Parkinson's Foundation. That's where all the proceeds are going to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Sean, the, the family's a great group. Yes. Uh, they're people that have done a lot for the community. Uh, and when people like that want to do as much as they've done, you only want to support it. So, yes, uh, the family knows, uh, everybody in the foundation knows I'm here to support any way I can. From now, years moving forward, uh, they're great people. And, and, and we're, like I said, just happy to be part of such a great event. Yeah, dude. I mean, I couldn't have said it any better than that. Yeah. Have you ever thought of maybe having your own show, bro? No, I leave you know, it up to you. The way, I watch the way you. that you talk I and your watch charisma. You, man. All right, I right watch on. You. That's right what on. I do. So, so now moving forward here, I mean, I haven't seen Steve yet. I know he took a little bit of a nap, but he is here now. So I'm really, really excited to see this guy. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen? Have you? Have I've you seen him a few times. You've seen him a few times. Now, now I heard he's together. like running around and yeah. stuff. Like, is that true? Yeah. We had a couple holes together that we drove on, and uh, like I said, driving on a, a golf course with uh, Steve Ledzig and Paul Coffey. There could be worse things to do on a Thursday. Yeah. So. yeah. 
Those uh, guys are okay. They're okay hockey it, players. It was fantastic. Coffee was an okay demon. It was great. So, uh, like I said, here to support any way we can. Uh, a great group of people, a great cause, and, and just a great day. It was fantastic. Amen. Can't say yeah. great more than that. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, buddy. We'll talk to you soon, of course. Steve right over here. Guys, I mean, this is a huge treat for me because, you know, all the people involved in this are very, very special, very, very caring people this is for an incredible cause but the guy that I'm gonna bring up next um, he hits close to home literally um, mr. Danny Granger you know he has prepared some incredible things for the silent auction um, you know being the producer of the sheriff podcast we support the Steve Ludzik Foundation so much through and through we met this incredible family not too long ago but I'm gonna bring him on right now Danny are you able to come on for a couple minutes here. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. So now I was just talking about like the incredible portraits for the silent auction, but I want to talk about the one that you have in your hand right well, now. Let me show you. I did this uh, painting today while I was here oh. of uh, of the man himself that's received Lutzik and getting the guy's autograph in. So we can auction it off tonight for the foundation. So now I see a few different autographs here. Yeah, well, there's a Who are some of these incredible names that you have on here? Mike Palmatierio, Paul Coffey. Paul Coffey, Dennis Mike Palmatier. You have Doug Favel. Doug yeah, Favel. There's, there, we're getting a bunch on there. Evan McGrath just signed it. We're gonna Jim get, Thompson. Jim Thompson's on there. We're going to get a lot of guys to sign it and Hopefully we can raise some good money with it. I love the colors. I love everything about it, man. This is sharp. Now this type of art, this is this is very unique. You're the only person to do it like this. And buddy, like I think that this is absolutely one of a kind. Has Steve seen it yet? He has not. Steve has not has seen not. this yet. Every time he walks by, I kind of flip it over. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to kind of surprise him with it, right? So. Yeah. So now, um, last night there was an event that was kind of in support leading up to this. Now, uh, you you were present for that. Yeah. Was it, could, could you do you mind talking about that a little bit about was what was happening? Time. It was packed. It was a concert um, last night. That was a good time, and uh, yeah, it was just everybody was a little slow moving this morning, but it just yeah. it's, they had a good time last night. Right on. Yeah. Now. Um, I know, I know Ricky Vibe made an appearance there last night. Um, lots of support from his family and friends. And it led into quite the incredible day, man. But I cannot wait. Now, when do you think this will be presented? Like, Until tonight. Probably the next hour or so. In the next hour? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm definitely going to keep you updated with this because there's probably going to be a couple more names that will be added to this, right? Like oh, autograph-wise. Yeah. And man, when Steve Ludzik sees this, it's going to be incredible. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing it firsthand on the Sheriff Podcast. Danny Green's your art's portrait of the lead man, Mr. Steve Ludzig, the reason why we are here today. Thank you so much, Danny, man. That is awesome, buddy. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. And we're going to sign out here, guys. Woo!